Elijah Wilson was born in Wilmington, North Carolina, where he attended Laney High School. This is the same city and high school that produced NBA legend Michael Jordan. Elijah, like Michael, learned how to balance academics and basketball, which has led them both to success. My freshman year, you are required to go to, I think it's eight hours a week of study hall. And once you get over a certain grade point average, 3.0, then you don't have to go anymore. And I did a pretty good job of maintaining my GPA, so I won't have to go. Before we even travel, we, um, our academic people do a good job of emailing our teachers and even tell us to go up to the teachers ourselves and tell them what days we're going to miss so we could see what schoolwork um, we may need to do or if we need to do some schoolwork prior before we leave. Elijah was selected MVP of the Big South Tournament and has appeared in two NCAA tournaments. Elijah has aspiration of playing basketball professionally and when he retires he would like to own a business that is basketball oriented. So my sophomore year, we, we won in my freshman year, so it's a little less, little less pressure going into your sophomore year or your second year, our team as a whole, because we, we knew what to expect, we knew what it takes to, to win. And me personally, I'm not a person that puts any pressure on myself. I don't really, I mean, I have goals that I want to achieve, but I don't have them set as in going prior going to the game. I just go out there and just try to play as hard as I can and the best I can. And just luckily for that year, I had a, couple good games in the tournament and it paid out in my favor to become to be named as MVP of the Big South tournament. With the NCAA tournament, um, it's a once in a lifetime experience. Uh, not many players when they play um, any collegiate sport get to participate in postseason play. And fortunately for, for two years, two out of my four years so far here at Coastal, I was um, I'm fortunate enough to participate in the NCAA tournament, which is a um, I honestly, words can't describe it, it, how exciting and stuff it is to be a part of it. Um, it's probably the, the closest thing you could probably get in college to feeling like a professional athlete. For wins, I, for wins or losses, I don't really get too high or too low. Um, each, each, for a win or a loss, there's always something you can learn from the game. And that's how I look at it. I mean, it's exciting to win, and, and obviously that's what everybody wants to do is to win. So when I win, I just... I, I congratulate myself and the team and just um, just happy for that night and just um, go to bed happy and wake up in the morning and know you had to do the same thing for the next game, or at least try to do the same thing. But for losses, um, most of the time, depending on how we played as a team or how I played individually, um, most of the time I don't get too down on myself. I just know, I know that I'm a hard worker, so I know that that if you have a bad game, it happens, and you know what you need to do when you have a bad game. That's to get back in the gym, and that's what I do. And so by doing that, I don't really put too much pressure on myself or get too down on myself for when I have a bad game or when we lose. The best, I, the best advice I give is time management. Um, you got to know what you want. If you want to be good at something, you got to put more time in it. And that's what, that's what I would recommend doing. You got to learn how to balance pinning schoolwork and practicing and and individual practice over other um, leisure things you like to do, it's like hanging out with friends or going out. You just got to know which one, which more important, what's important to you. That's probably the, that's probably what I would say. Um, I would say work ethic, work ethic and heart. Um, you can't get better if you don't practice. So practicing as much as you can. Um, that's if you keep doing that ultimately you're just gonna get better just by itself and also with the heart part um, heart, heart and confidence you can't you can't um, you can't with all the hard work and practicing you can't really show it in the game unless you had unless you have heart and confidence like if you miss a shot you always got to know that the next shot's gonna go in it's part of having confidence and and heart um, with heart, you need you need that as well. It's just it goes hand in hand with confidence. Um, you can't name a great player that's ever played college basketball or professionally that that had good work ethic, confidence, or or heart. I plan on um, either playing professionally overseas or try to go to the NBA if I if I was possible to. Whether shooting a game-winning shot or making an A in class, Elijah has learned that prioritizing and balancing commitments while goal-setting will lead to success.